When you go to a buffet, even though there is a lot behind that glass that you would never put on your plate, you don't feel bad that it's there because nobody, since you left the hot lunch line in grade school, makes you put it on your plate. <laughs> in other words, you know that you can choose. You don't stand behind that glass and say to the nice people behind the counter, I don't want that and I don't want that. And what in the world is that doing there? I can't imagine anybody ever eating that. And that's awful. Oh, I had that once. Don't want that, don't want that. And that nice person would eventually say, it might go better if you tell me what you do want. What is it that you would like on your plate? And that's the way you all felt as you came into this physical experience. Not one of you was concerned about being exposed to unwanted things because you knew that there was no power of assertion. You knew no one could put that stuff into your experience that you would be choosing it all. And we're wanting to remind you here today that everything that you are experiencing, you have chosen. Sometimes, when we say that, our physical friends balk at the idea, I would not have chosen that, Abraham. I would not have chosen that. I do not believe I chose that. And we say, are you living it? And they say, yes. And we say, then you chose it. And they say, no, I would not have chosen that. And we say, are you living it? And they say, yes. And we say, then you have chosen it. And they say, I would not have chosen this. <laughs> and we say, are you living it? And they say, yes. But I would not have chosen that. This is gonna take a while. And then they say, <laughs> because there have been a lot of them. And then we acknowledge that that must mean that you are choosing things without knowing you're doing it. Which must mean you don't know how you're making your choices. And humans say, it's clear to me how I make my choices. I look at things I want and I say, yes, I choose you. And I look at things I don't want and I say, no, I don't choose you. And we say, now we understand what's going wrong. Because when you say yes to something, your attention to it invites it into your experience. When you say no to something, your attention to it invites it into your experience. And what we think is so interesting about so many of our physical human friends is that more of them are spending more time pointing at and talking about what they don't want than they are talking about what they do want, which is the reason that so many humans have literally separated themselves, too strong of word, but we want to make a strong point, have separated themselves from who they really are. You never know more clearly what you do want than when you know what you don't want.